1917, France, Frontline Fighting. Let's go, men! We'll fight those Huns until we get justice! We've been on the front line for too long, man. Yeah, it seems like it's been forever. I could really go for some of that bully beef right now, even though it tastes like leather. Hey, at least it's something. We've got a runner! Okay, men. Next shift will be coming in soon. They make their way back cautiously through communication trenches to the reserve trench. Here, they can relax and rehabilitate before they are called back to fight. Mail! You've got Charles, John, was Abraham, Jack, Hammond, and Levi. Hey, my sister sent me a letter. What does it say? Let's read it. Hammond, we miss you so much. Ma's been working full time now because all the vacant jobs. Dad was arrested under the Espionage Act, so I'm stuck at home with all the chores. But I should stop my complaining, because you're working hard to keep us safe. Thanks, Ham. Love your dearest, Darla. Ooh, sounds rough. I hear the limited food consumption, too. Homerizing! This is a disaster. I need to be home for my dear old family. My mama's too working too hard. My sister's too young to be taken out on the chores. I gotta be there. I gotta find a way to get home! Boom! Ham! Ah! Ham! You're fine! What'd you do? I shot it! Why? I need to get home to my family! Oh, Ham! I got him! He's no good for war. You gotta send him home. Goodbye, Ham. Wish your family my best. You too. The Germans are approaching no man's land. I'm so scared. They're launching Big Bertha! Take cover! Phew, it's just a dud. Gas! <gasps> Oh, it's the rats again! Looks like we got a case of shell shock. I gotta stay strong for Ham and Levi. I gotta keep fighting.
John died that evening, and he died with the courage of his friends. Hammond began to write a letter for John, not knowing about his death. Dear John, I hope things are going well. Things are going great back home. Dad's out of jail. I'm helping Darla on the farm. And Mom's still working hard. She's enjoying herself. I hope you're kicking some huns behind. I hope you're being the brave man that you've always been. I miss you like crazy. I think about you every need evening when I'm watching the sunset. I think about our times together out on the battlefield, all the laughs and all the terrifying moments. I pray for you. Every night I pray. I pray that you will come home safely and I'll see you again. If you're not to return home, I just want you to know that you've been the best friend I could ask for. I love you, buddy. I think about that every day. I don't want to think like that, though. I know you'll be returning home, and when you come home, make sure you visit me, and I'll be waiting there with a nice, warm smile. But if you caught that trench foot now, or caught some lice, I don't want you near me. Just kidding. <coughs> Remember that time you were wounded in the battlefield and I carried you all the way back to the reserve trench? Well, that explains our relationship, buddy. I'll never leave you behind and we'll always be the best of friends. I love you. Be safe. Come home soon. Love, your dearest Hammond. When John decided to go deliver the letter, he read into the mailman who gave him the letter saying that John had died. He was terrified. He was angry. Hammond never received John's body to bury it. So instead he made a memorial in his backyard under the maple tree. He visited there every day.